For Ezio, since he's not an assassin at the beginning, I wanted to create this sense of even more uh, brutality, even more viscerality into it, which is like you feel more the blade, you feel more that uh, it's, it's tough to assassinate someone. Real violence is brutal. You can't kill someone by just slashing at them with a sword. You know, when you kill someone, there's an effect. Your weapon reacts, you know, it gets stuck in their bodies you know, they react to being hit. This is really one of the core concepts of combat. We want to just push it to the point where every time people see a movie, they're like, Well, you want to show your friends. So you bring them over and you say, look at this one, do it, and they're all like, oh my God. So that's what we wanted to bring. Another thing we wanted is to make fight better, but also make it so that fight wasn't the only tool in the game. So in AC2, uh, there will always be an option for escaping. And you have to play smart. You can't always fight every fight because you're going to lose. So you have to pick and choose your battles. So there's going to be three guards archetypes in the game. Uh, the first one being the brute. The brute is going to be a huge challenge in terms of fighting. It's going to be strong. They are not very smart. They're your typical kind of big oafs and uh, they're very susceptible to sort of social gameplay. So you can blend, they, they'll never figure out that you're in a blend spot. Then we have the seeker, the more paranoid type of guard, you know, the, the guy who's searching to see where Ezio is, and even like in Bale of Aid or in a group of people, you can say, oh, you're there. The third is the agile, and the agile is obviously against the free running. Uh, not only is he good at catching you when you're free running, he can also do free running. The other thing that's really cool about the archetypes is that each one uses a special weapon. You can actually steal people's weapons now. By stealing the archetypes' weapons, we'll unlock a whole new set of, of, of combat attacks. Okay, this is a type of guy, he has a spear, you know, spears are long, so I can grab it and take it from him and kill someone else. Whereas a brute is heavily armored, and you can pound on it all day long with your weapon and not really get anywhere. You've got to be clever to beat this guy. We've made a technology that basically allows an AI to say, oh, okay, instead of just fleeing down a street, if I'm capable, why not flee up a building or flee up a ladder or flee across free running elements or boats or whatever? Instead of just having this sort of predictable path where you can see the guy taking off, now the player is going to have to adjust and the AI will then counter adjust to what the player is doing. In AC2, we have a bunch of new weapon types. We have maces, two handed weapons, axes and swords, hammers, spears. Halberds, different types of daggers, hidden blades, two hidden blades. These allow for a lot of interesting variety of the combat. In AC1, the only thing you could do in fight with the hidden blades was counter kills. There was nothing else. But this time around, it counts as a full weapon. You're going to want to be more visceral. You're going to want to attack. You're going to want to kill. You're more of a badass.